Well, here's something that you can do with your family to create a delicious treat. And who knows, you might even start a summer tradition. I'm Nancy Hopkins with Better Homes and Gardens, and I'm here with Scott Peacock, and we're making an American classic, ice cream. How do we get going? Well, we're going to start by putting some whole milk in a saucepan and heating it up. And we've got okay. our fresh vanilla bean, which we're going to twist just a little bit to bruise it and sort of get the oil coming out of it. We put this in here into the warm milk, and then we put a lid on it and let it just sit and steep for like 20 to 30 minutes to develop a lot of flavor. Okay. All right. And while that's happening, we're going to come right over and we're going to use eggs. Some great, the best eggs you can get. That's the thing about ice cream. It's a simple thing to make. So you want to use the very best of everything that you can get. And only the yolks go in. Only right? the yolks. So separate these out and we'll have eight egg yolks. So we'll just twist the egg yolks up a little bit to break them up. And then we're going to add three quarters cup of granulated sugar. And you just and whisk that together. Just going to whisk it. You don't want to whisk it too much, just enough to mix it really, really well. So now we'll take this steep, hot steeped milk and add a little bit at first. And because you don't want to cook right, the egg. Right, temper it. And then you can pour the rest in in a slow stream. And put this back in the pan. So then we have this over medium heat and you stir it constantly. It can take anywhere from five to seven minutes, not too long at all, just it's going constantly until it begins to thicken up. You just want to keep it moving constantly and scraping the sides and the bottom so you don't have any areas that cook too much and cooks evenly. Scott, it looks like it's at 170. How's that? Oh, that's perfect. And when you run your finger through the spatula, it leaves a clean trail. And now we have a bowl that we're going to strain this to get out any bits of cooked egg. So you can see we have the chilled custard now and you see it's thickened up a good bit mm -hmm. and it's delicious. And into that, we're going to add two cups of heavy cream and then some more vanilla. We had the vanilla bean in there. Now we're going to add some vanilla extract. How much? Uh, two to three tablespoons. And that's a matter where you really sort of taste, and it's a matter of taste. One of the most important ingredients is salt. What does salt do? Uh, salt brings out the flavor. It absolutely brings out the flavor of the milk and the vanilla and the, every bit of it. And this is delicious. Delicious. Mm. Okay. It should taste really strong at this point because when it freezes, it's going to take a little bit of the edge off the flavor. You can use any kind of ice cream freezer you have. I'm very partial to these White Mountain hand cranked freezers. And the slower you go, the less air you beat into it. So you just put it in here. It's still kind of soft at this point, so you need to firm it up. And then take a piece of plastic wrap, put it directly on top, and that keeps it from getting any sort of freezer burn or ice crystals from forming and then put it into the freezer for an hour or two to firm up. Oh, Scott, look, there's still some in here. I just have to have another taste. Mmm, that's so good. Maybe more? Yum. I'm Nancy Hopkins for better. And to see Scott work his ice cream magic again, you can go to bettertv.com and click on recipes. This has been BetterTV.com. Please email us your thoughts, ideas at BetterTV.com.